Okay, in this question, a bullet is being fired horizontally from a gun, and at the same time, another bullet is dropped from the exact same height. So let's say, for example, this one is being fired at 300 meters per second sideways, and this one is just being dropped from rest. Okay, it's tempting to say that the bullet that's being fired horizontally is going to hit the ground, hit the ground later, because it's traveling a bigger distance. But the truth is the fact that it's going sideways doesn't actually affect its vertical motion. It doesn't affect its up and downward motion. So let's see this in this diagram here. So you can see this cannon is firing the cannonball horizontally. So if it's being fired horizontally, what is the upward and downward speed? Well, it's zero. The upward and downward speed is not going up or down at all. So the, that's zero. So, but the thing is the weight, the gravity is pulling it downwards while horizontally there's no force. So we're going to ignore air resistance for this whole, uh, most of this topic. So what's going to happen now is horizontally, you can see it's still 20 meters per second, but vertically it's been accelerated. It's actually been minus 9.81. So because that's because every second it's accelerating by minus 9.81 meters per second squared if we ignore gravity. So after another second, it will be minus 19.6 and so on. So you can see downwards is accelerating at a constant rate, while horizontally it's not accelerating at all, it's constant velocity. So to summarize, gravity only affects the vertical component of the projectile's velocity. The horizontal speed remains constant. So in this question, determine the horizontal distance covered by the ball. So what we do is we treat the horizontal vertical motion completely differently. So vertically, it's accelerating due to gravity so we're going to use suvats it's a constant acceleration while horizontally it's moving at constant speed two meters per second in this case so we just have to use speed equals distance over time that simple equation so let's fill in the information so it's falling down vertically by 1.5 meters so it's minus 1.5 meters now what is this initial vertical speed this question is asking you what is this speed up or down well up or down is not moving at all up or down it's initially fired horizontally it's not fired vertically so the initial horizontal speed is zero we're not interested in the final speed it hits the ground at vertically acceleration is minus 9.81 vertically and time is something we're going to find out in a minute okay horizontally we don't know what distance it travels that's actually what the question is asking for so that's what we want to find horizontally the speed is two meters per second and the time it's in the air for, we don't know. So we need to find this time in order to find the distance traveled horizontally. So where can we get that time from? We can get it from this part here. Okay, so what is the equation which doesn't have V in it? It's S equals UT plus half AT squared. But because U is zero, this part becomes zero. Okay, so we can just use solve this to find t. So we get um, minus 1.5 equals half times minus 9.81 times t squared. So if we rearrange this, it becomes minus 1.5 times 2 over minus 9.81. The minus will cancel out, so we can square root it to find t. So that is 0.553 seconds it's in the air for. That's how long it takes to hit the ground. Now we have the time, we can use it here. 0.553. So this one, the equation is simply V equals S over T because it's constant speed. So our V is 2. S is what we're trying to find. 0.553. So our S, the distance it travels horizontally, is 2 times 0.553 which gives you 1.1 meters. So that's the horizontal distance it travels before it hits the ground, 1.1 meters. The diver is jumping off a 35 meter cliff edge. He must hit the water at at least five meters from the bottom of the cliff edge to avoid hitting the rocks. Determine the minimum horizontal velocity of the diver. So we're gonna assume the diver is gonna jump horizontally like that. Of course, we're ignoring air resistance in this question. So it's a projectile motion question where we separate vertical and horizontal motion. So how, what is his vertical displacement? So throughout this motion, he's moving downwards by 35 meters. His initial vertical speed, he's not moving up or down. So his initial vertical speed is zero meters per second. It, we will come back to V later. Acceleration due to gravity, 
is minus 9.81 downwards. Time is something we're going to have to find. Horizontal displacement, 5 meters. Okay, we're going to, that's how much she has to go at least. V is what, um, well, we don't know what V is, we need to find that. Time, well, we'll need to find time in order to find V. So we don't know what time is yet. So we can find time using this part. It's very similar to the last question I just did. You're going to have to use S equals ut plus half at squared. But because u is 0, this big cancels out and you, it's very easy to solve. So you can solve it and you get 2.671 seconds. It's in the air for. So you can use that 2.671 seconds and the equation v equals s over t. And if you put that in, you get v equals 1.872 meters per second horizontally. Okay, towards the right. Okay, part B of the question. I've written down all the information I've calculated so far. It says determine the velocity at which the diver hits the water. So when he hits the water here, just before he hits the water, we showed that the horizontal speed for the whole motion actually from the beginning to the end was 1.872. I'm going to keep the precise value here so I don't, I don't round up to the end of the question. And we, need to, we need to find the velocity at which hits the ground. So remember, he's also got a vertical velocity downwards. But what we want is the overall, we want the resultant velocity he hits, he hits the ground at. Sorry, the water at. Okay, so we need to find the vertical component here. We need to find this part over here. So to find that, we can use any of the SUVATs which have V in it, because we have lots of information here. We've got four information. So we can use, I'm going to use V squared equals u squared plus 2as u is 0 so u squared is 0 so v is going to equal square root of 2as so that gives me square root of 2 times minus 9.81 times minus 35 so his speed downwards was 26.2 meters per second Okay, now I know the horizontal and vertical speed, 26.2 meters per second. I can find the resultant using Pythagoras. So I can use 1.872 squared plus 26.2 squared. And then square root that to find the speed was 26.3. So he's basically going downwards most of it. And he's only got a tiny component of speed going towards the left. What about the angle there? So to find that angle and to label my opposites and adjacents very carefully. So the downward part is opposite in this case, so it's 26.2 and the adjacent is 1.872. So I can use tan inverse of opposite over uh, adjacent to find the angle theta. The opposite in this case is going to be 26.2 over the adjacent 1.872. That gives me an angle of 86 degrees below the horizontal 